just a stock market crash, suddenly you are so disturbed by it because what you had built up in your mind just went away. So, economy goes backward, it's just the pain of adjustment. And those who are little weak may get crushed in the process. Everybody's crying because so many people have lost money, of course. That is painful for them because that is the game they were playing. I'm saying if we continue business as usual, in twenty, twenty-five years, thirty years' time, there's going to be a major disaster. There's no question about that. There is no question in anybody's mind about that anymore. Look at all the noise we're making about this. Two months, if you stop your economy, everything is going to go away. No, no, it's not like that. So what wealth is there upon this world, what possibilities are there are not gone. It is just our idea of wealth today is building it up in the air. Stock market is the indicator of our wealth. Well, that's the kind of economic system we've built, I'm not making a commentary on that, but we don't have to be so distressed. When I was interviewed by one of the national medias about ten years ago, they asked me about a question about Indian stock market. Because that day for the first time, uh, I'm, I may be wrong on the years, maybe twelve, thirteen years, maybe. It had breached the Indian stock market, had breached the twenty thousand mark. Never before it had hit twenty thousand. So, they asked me, what do you think about it? I said, see, in my estimate, if you look at the businesses and their capacities, the industries, what they can produce, what they can do, the stocks in reality are worth about maybe twelve thousand is where it should be. But of course we want to create a positive sentiment, so we'll make it fourteen thousand, we'll… because human sentiment drives it, fourteen, fifteen thousand. Twenty thousand is a bit too much. Well, since ten… ten years, it crossed uh, I think forty-four thousand or forty-five thousand in the last few months. Today it's come down to, I think, twenty-eight or twenty-nine thousand, I'm not on it. Somewhere around thirty thousand, everybody's crying because so many people have lost money, of course. That is painful for them because that is the game they were playing. But essentially, nothing has changed except numbers on the computer. So we're building a world like this. A world like this means this has always been said in yoga that with a simple desire, you'll create a whole new world and you believe it's real. Whether it's your business or money or wealth or family or whatever love affairs and stuff you have, all built in your mind, out of simple desire. You're making a world out of it and you think it exists. When it vanishes, either in the form of tsunami, storm, just a stock market crash, suddenly you are so disturbed by it because what you had built up in your mind just went away. Not just you, all of you got together and built up the same thing. Then it's like real, it's just like a religion. Everybody gets together, builds up the same imagery in their mind. It becomes real, they start seeing the heaven, they talk discussing the same thing among themselves. They build up a whole new creation of their own. If somebody from outside comes and questions, normally they kill them because he's threatening the stock market. You just bring down the sentiment totally. So there is… there is definitely going to be pain in terms of… My concern is for the poorest of the poor who will… Uh, who may be deprived of their basic livelihood, 
but they will... usually they're quite engineers, they will find their way with little support, three, four months support is their means. They will find their way in some way. But in terms of what one may be enjoying, it may be a backward step. Let us say, if we just look back, how we were living ten years ago, how many things we had, I'm not even talking a generation, just ten years ago, how we were, how we are today, we have many, many more things. If you leave us for another ten years, we will have many, many, many more things and it'll go on and on and on. But on this planet, there is no more, there's only that much, there's only one vessel, rest is all mirror images. Now, ten years ago, were we in some deprived condition? We were doing fine. I'm telling you, if you look back hundred years ago also, when nobody had anything like this, even then they were fine. Ten thousand years ago, if you look back, even then when they lived in the jungles and wherever, then also they were fine in their own way. Maybe they didn't drive an automobile, maybe they were not whatsapping, ah, but they found their own way. They developed a big voice and shouted at each other or beat a drum or did something, all right. But they also lived a complete life in their own way. So, economy goes backward, it's just a pain of adjustment. And those who are little weak may get crushed in the process, that is the only concern. Otherwise, economy steps back is not a genuine concern, it's not a real concern, it's okay.